all right what's up y'all ain't made a tech video in a minute but like y'all been asking how do you get into it with no experience at all right i'm about to tell you how so first off i'm gonna tell you about my experience plus how to just how to do it so it's gonna be a mix of both so basically let's say you have no experience look you gotta get some and schooling is one of it no you do not have to go to college or university or whatever you can go to a tech school vocational school or whatever they got the technology part in it or whatever that's what i did i went to cti and took a six to nine month class or whatever and that's long story short i took the six to nine month class and the first part was like microsoft like word excel and powerpoint once you get those down you move to the next step which is the actual help desk or information technology section of it right so do your little six to nine months i did graduated got some little uh diploma type situation thing whatever okay so that's out the way that's schooling that counts as experience but not necessarily all the way hands-on so when it comes to the hands-on portion okay school had partial hands-on and then you got to move on to get that actual experience hands-on experience experience so you go get you an internship now depending on your age or whatever you could either get a summer some summer jobs have uh, some summer jobs like in dc I had the option to participate in a summer job program and they would have like put me in the help desk section of it or whatever doing some computer shit or whatever okay but i was having issues with my address so uh either way you get you some experience right so you can either go through the summer jobs and hopefully they put you in the technology section or you could do what i did i went to a computer store the gadget guys shout out to the gadget guys man they pretty much helped change my life so uh, yeah, went to the Gadget Guys, which is a computer repair shop, and they also sell computers there, too. So, I went there. Uh, I had to search like shit, though. They had a program online. I mean, I looked online. They had a program. I called them up, sent them my information. I came in. They gave me, like, a little interview or whatever, and I started my internship there. And, damn. And during that internship, uh, I was um, taking computers and laptops apart, building them back up, and... Uh, putting in like tickets basically uh because you know i would people would come in and bring in their laptops and we would have to like diagnose it and stuff like that so that helped me with learning like some type of ticketing system as well as you know going into the laptops and desktops and building them and seeing what this is and this and that different internships last different lengths or whatever i thought my internship was gonna just be like four to five months or something like that but they was like it could go up to a year and and within my case well, not in my case, period. They can go up to you. Could be there how long you want. You know what I'm saying? Just put put a great, imp a good impression on them and stuff like that. Cause I was at my internship for like, I was there like for the summer. I think it started being cold and it started getting hot. I was there for at least like four months. I believe I was there for four months. So uh, within that four months that I was there, I was still looking for you know jobs and shit. So that's when I came across the job that I'm at now, and uh the only requirements for this job was a high school diploma and like six to nine months experience or something like that or not not six to nine months experience i think like nine to nine to twelve months experience whatever the experience level was that's uh what it said whatever i mean you know so uh, with that being said do i have my certification no, I do not have my A-plus certification. That's what I'm saying. You don't need your certification to get into the IT world. It's good if you have one. You know what I'm saying? You might be called for a job faster or something like that. But if you got the experience, that's what matters. So don't be thinking like, oh, since I don't got my, um, my certification, then I can't get no job. No, go get some in go get an internship and work there and build up your shit you know what i'm saying and some internships are paid some are not i was not paid during my internship but look where i'm at now i'm more than paid for it just for working there four months for free uh, i think i was coming in like two days a week or maybe three days a week or something like that and i was driving there you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying i was dedicated i wanted to get my experience and that's what y'all gotta do be dedicated for this shit what time is it yeah be dedicated because that's what counts like don't listen to nobody who's saying oh I, I wouldn't be doing no internship for free because okay that's you i'm gonna do this shit for free because i know it's gonna get me ahead you know what i'm saying and um 
yeah, I am still studying for my A plus certification. I haven't been studying as hard as I could, but I am still studying for it because now maybe my job could pay for it. But yeah, y'all. Yeah, y'all, if y'all have any questions that I maybe didn't cover, for the most part, it's just that simple. Get you, go to, get some type of schooling where you don't got to go to college and be in super fucking debt, okay? After that, get you some experience. Go to a computer shop or if you got some type of uh, connections or something in the government or whatever, do it like that, whatever. Get your internship. Even the, where I work at now, they do internships, though I haven't seen one for IT, but for other stuff. Uh... Yeah, like I said, any other questions y'all got, just let me know. Um, I've been working here for two years now. Uh, it's great. You learn more on the job than you do. Like, with these tests, like that certification, the two-part certification, is doing way too much than what you really have to do here, you know, when you get the job. So, like I said, y'all, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see any more tech videos, let me know on what subjects, and I'll put them up here. So, yeah, y'all, I'm about to go home.